Okay, so welcome to this video, and I've really been looking forward to making this video uh, because uh, in this video we're going to discuss how uh, we're going to discuss firstly an abstract probability space that is going to be uh, distributed in the Poisson way, or at least it's going to converge on being distributed in the Poisson way. What we're going to see is that the binomial distribution under some conditions converges on the Poisson distribution, and the way we're going to see this, the context in which we're going to see this, uh, is in uh, the context of virology and I love this because I'm a medical student uh, so I love it when maths actually has a use in medicine uh, so it's like killing two birds with one stone okay uh, so um, this is the problem basically uh, we let's say uh, so it's a virology problem virology uh, so let's say we have V viruses now a virus is a tiny little uh, a tiny little um, well, structure that uh, you can debate whether it's alive or not. Um, what it is, is basically a structure which is capable of going inside cells and reproducing inside of them. So let's say we have V viruses, so V viruses, and we have, uh, we have uh, N cells, N cells. And what we want to know is, um, oh dear, this is too bright again. But if I do that, it's a bit too dark. Okay, we'll have it like that. Uh, we have V viruses and we have N cells. And uh, we want to know, the pro we take a cell, so we take a specific cell. Specific cell. Okay, so firstly, I want to just explain the setup. Uh, we, have, we have these N cells in a Petri dish. So let's have the N cells in a Petri dish. So they are in this Petri dish here. And then we add in the V viruses. So V is the number of viruses that you have, and N is the number of cells you have. Uh, so uh, then basically what happens is that uh, we're going to assume that absolutely every single virus goes into a cell. They all go into cells. And we, we then take a specific cell, so we pick out a cell, uh, and we want to know, want to know, what is the probability, what is the probability, probability uh, that it has, uh, let's say, X viruses, vir virions is the uh, fancy word for a single virus. Uh, X virions are within it. Within it. Okay, so that's the problem. Uh, so if we draw our probability space, so let's have our probability space here, then there are lots of different possibilities basically. It could have uh, no viruses in it, it could have one virus in it, it could have uh, two viruses in it, it could go on and on. So it could have zero, one, two, Free, all the way up to it could have all the viruses in it. So those are the possibilities. Now, um, in the abstract sense, why you might be wondering, well, this is exactly a probability space in the real numbers. Uh, but really, what it is is it's a probability space in the count in in the real numbers used to count. Um, it's not a probability space with. Uh, it, at no point in here do you need the fact that you can. Uh, is there an do you need algebra? This, these structures, you can just think of them as symbols denoting the fact. This is denoting the picture. You could even think of this probability space containing pictures. You could have a picture of a cell containing no viruses, a picture of a cell containing one virus, a picture of a cell containing two viruses. There is no, there's no need for the algebra of the real numbers to be on here. So what we do when we have a random variable x, officially is what we're doing is mapping it onto an algebraic structure, which is the real numbers with its addition and multiplication properties. You have to understand that maths is just symbols and we define structural properties on it. Unfortunately, we uh, we use the real numbers. Uh, we use the same symbols, meaning loads of different possible mathematical structures defined on them. Uh, in this context, we're just using the real numbers in the context of counting counting how many viruses there are, there are in there. When we map it onto the real numbers over here, we're meaning the real, uh, by a random variable, what we're really doing is we're we're saying we want to use the algebraic properties of the real numbers now. Uh, so that's uh, why uh, you can think of this as being the abstract probability space and this being mapped onto 
uh, exactly the same symbols, yes. Uh, but, uh, so zero goes on to zero, but now it's got the algebraic structure on it, is what you should uh, think in that context. If it helps, think of the abstract probability space as having the pictures of cells with certain number of viruses in them. Okay, uh, so what I want to know is what is the probability that x is equal to any sort of any one of these numbers? Well, basically, uh, it's going to be uh, a binomial distribution because um, 